yeah um hello everyone i'm anupama again uh, the product marketer at frappe in today's edition we'll be discussing about frappe hr the ultimate tool that could possibly help you automate all your hr processes and operations from one place and um, frappe okay. hr basically made it debut as a separate app in frappe was last year during the erp next conference and since then a lot of enhancement has been added and rucha is here with us today and she's going to take the lead and walk you guys through um, everything related to the app and about rucha it's been around 3.5 years since she joined frappe and now she is the product owner of frappe hr uh, we also have saurav uh, with us here today uh, he is the director of engineer uh has been with frappe since 2015 and along the way he has also been actively involved as a contributor for frappe hr we also have nabil uh with us here uh and yeah um, the three of us them would uh, collectively um take the webinar forward so yes you can expect to learn about the new enhancements in frappe hr and now to and how you could use it to simplify your hr operations uh, through this app so yeah before uh, going forward few pointers that you guys should um, follow is to just ensure that your name and surname is reflected in the zoom account uh, for easier reference and smoother interaction if you are using zoom desktop application upgrade it to the latest version beforehand to participate in the interactive polls and um, you will find some polls uh, coming along the way uh, we'd love to get some answers from you so be entirely honest with them and if you guys have any questions drop it in the q and a section and we will answer them and now so uh, over to you rucha you could share your screen and let's begin Sure. Um, I hope my screen is visible. Yeah, it's visible. Um. So thank you, Anupama, for uh the introduction. As Anupama mentioned, uh, I am Rucha Mahabal. I have been working at Frappe for almost four years now. Um. i work as a product engineer at frappe uh, so earlier i have been uh, part of different products i worked on the framework erp next frappe health uh, the partner portal and now i finally uh, build and maintain frappe hr along with soro uh, so frappe hr is a 100% open source hr and payroll product with over 13 different modules majorly recruitment attendance um, life cycle managing performance payroll expenses taxes and a lot of other things uh so to quickly uh, walk you through different uh, modules inside frappe hr starting with recruitment you can create staffing plans to plan the entire uh, manpower requirements for your organization for the year and see where you require reinforcements uh you can create job openings and publish them on your portal according to your vacancies uh you can maintain a queue of all the applicants uh with a comprehensive list and filters and uh you can rate applicants uh create interviews against them with a multi rater feedback uh send out job offers from within frappe hr uh with customized print format templates Uh, once you recruit a candidate you also have to take care of the life cycle of the entire uh, uh process like right from onboarding to exits you can map your onboarding tasks within frappe hr uh, assign it to your employees and the hr team uh, manage exits uh, flawlessly with uh, separation tasks you can also schedule exit interviews and take care of full and final settlement so that you don't have any uh accounting uh, requirements pending with your employees uh you can manage promotions and transfers within the system uh and maintain an entire internal work history of your employees uh record grievances against a teammate uh, department or the company and also employee reminders so that 
you do not miss out on important events from your teammates like work anniversary or birthday reminders uh you also have an option to get advance holiday reminders so that you can plan your leave and work better after you have recruited and onboarded an employee there are several other things that you need like managing shifts uh time sheets attendance so we have uh different attendance tools to help you uh, mark attendance in bulk with just a few clicks uh, you can also integrate your biometric device to pull in check-ins uh, from your location into frappe hr and set up auto attendance so that your biometric device and frappe hr can together manage the entire attendance for you without any manual intervention uh, you can schedule different shifts for your employees uh, even multiple shifts within a day and um see overlaps manage shift requests um and you get a comprehensive attendance report so that you don't uh have to drill down into individual uh records and you can see a summary of total present absent days late entries early exits leaves taken for each type and so on apart from this with attendance there is also a need to manage uh cumbersome leave policies so you can map all your leave policies uh, in the system with a location for each leave type and have uh, multiple different settings like carry forwarding or earn leaves manage leave calendar so that you can easily visualize who is on leave on what days um, create approve leave applications with a multiple uh, approver workflow create holiday lists uh, for different companies or departments and cash leaves and view all your leave balance reports when it comes to expense or uh, the payroll side of things uh, you get an option to create expense claims uh, and maintain an entire accounting ledger or bank entries against your expense claims so that you can clear out your uh, you can clear out your uh, pending uh, account receivable and payable against your employees you can also give out advances that can be claimed uh, with expense claims later on so you can manage advances uh, do part payments uh, manage returns for the unclaimed ones with easy status tracking we have a fleet management uh, tool which allows you to arrange transport for your employees and manage the expenses for fleet of vehicles along with uh, comprehensive claim reports and analytics payroll is uh, most of the times cumbersome but uh, with frappe hr you can easily map any kind of payroll structure with full freedom to uh, define your own formula your conditions uh, generate salary slips uh create pretty looking print formats for your slips and send out encrypted salary slips from within the system uh generate payroll entry uh, for your entire department or company in bulk uh with just a few clicks you can also integrate your uh, payroll with time sheets so that you can log your hours with a breakup of activities and define an hourly rate and manage salary payouts uh record additional salaries um to give out bonuses or deductions in a few months and comprehensive payroll reports and analytics along with taxes and benefits uh with declarations proof submissions reports flexible benefits and what not so this was a quick overview of what frappe hr has to offer a lot of things uh that can't be covered in this webinar but if you want a detailed overview uh, of uh, hr and payroll modules you can head over to frappe school which is a um, lms uh, wherein you can learn about frappe framework erp next or the entire frappe verse and take courses on hr and payroll um, as per your needs so uh, these were all the things that the product has to offer but it is also backed by the powerful frappe framework which is a low code framework so with that uh, a lot of things come out of the box like roles and permission management you can create your own workspaces and uh, to reduce cognitive load and decide what is what should be visible on your home screen uh, create email templates uh, configure automated notifications 
print format builders for all the uh, hundreds of letters that HR uh, reps need to send out, right, from appointment letters to uh, appraisal letters. Um, the framework also has a provision to maintain audit logs, so you can maintain the entire edit history of uh, what documents were changed, along with some tools to automate your daily processes, like assignment rule with load balancing, so that um, you can balance load within your HR team and auto repeat so that you don't have to create uh, similar documents every month uh, or every week. Apart from all these features, uh, the framework also provides you a lot of flexibility to customize and configure your existing forms or doc types. Uh, so basically, uh, within the framework, a doc type uh, is a table, creates a table in the database and provides you a view for your forms. So you can easily add uh, new custom fields in your forms uh, if the existing ones don't fulfill your requirements within just a few clicks. With uh, version 14, the framework also ships with a powerful form builder that allows you to drag drop and create forms on the fly um, without much of a hassle. So uh, after this overview, let's look at some enhancements that have gone into Frappe HR in the past few months. Uh, we have all been here, like deriving tax amounts on your salary slip. Uh, it can be cumbersome because you may not know how the tax is getting calculated and what are my taxable amounts or earnings and CTC. Uh, to fix this, uh, Saurabh introduced an income tax breakup tab in your salary slip that shows you a complete overview of your CTC, uh, taxable earnings, uh, exemption amounts, deductions before tax calculation, annual taxable earnings, your future current and total income tax, everything uh, with a bird's eye view so that you get a complete picture of how your tax is getting calculated in the slip. Um, now you can also disable a recurring additional salary. Let's say you want to send out, uh, give out a bonus to a, an employee for three months and in the second month you decide to stop the bonus. You can simply disable the document unlike before where you had to cancel an additional salary, but that was not possible because it was already linked to the previous slips. Um, we also introduced opening entries uh, uh, for earnings and deductions. So if you go to payroll settings, you can now see an option to enable uh, defining opening balances for earnings and deduction. So this will allow the allow you to enable the provision to set opening balances for earnings and deductions till date when you create salary structure assignment. Uh, now I have enabled this setting and if I go to uh, create a new salary structure assignment for an existing employee, um, for a new employee, I can see these fields to set up earnings and deductions till date. Uh, this makes your uh, opening entries or opening balance entries easier for employees joining your payroll cycle midway or if you decide to migrate to this system midway during your uh, payroll cycle, you can use this feature to set up opening balances easily. Another feature which was uh, asked by many uh, within the system was employee-wise accounting entries. So when we run payroll uh, earlier, the entire payroll amount used to get booked under uh, against the payroll payable account without any breakup of uh, amount within the employees. Uh, now you also have an option to process payroll accounting entries based on employee records. So let me just go and create a new payroll entry to demonstrate this. So let's say I create a payroll entry for the month of Jan. Um, I get the employees. So I've created my salary slips uh, for multiple employees within just a few clicks. Uh, now I can go ahead and submit my salary slips. This will create a journal entry and have an accounting impact on the payroll payable account. 
So if I go and check the new journal entry created, you can see that unlike the previous journal entry, now there is a breakup of uh, what amount went against each employee so that you have cleaner ledger entry and um, payable and receivable tracking against the employees. Um, coming to the HR piece, uh, you now also have an option to configure the day for allocating earn leave. Earlier, uh, the earn leave used to automatically get allocated on the last day of the month, but now you can choose whether to allocate an earn leave on the first, last, or the day of joining of the month for that particular employee. Um, apart from this, there are also some um, attendance module enhancements. So under shift and attendance, I have this employee attendance tool. So I want to mark the attendance for today. Earlier, you didn't have an option to select a shift um, marked while marking attendance in bulk. Uh, so people working with shifts used to find it difficult to use this tool. You can now also mark the employees with a late entry or early exits right from this view. So I set some date and I can filter out um, what employees I want to mark attendance for. I can set some filter. Let's say I want to mark the attendance for research and development department. So all my uh, employees with unmarked attendance are fetched over here. I can go ahead and select the employees that I want to mark attendance with a particular status, uh, let's say present, and I can uh, select the shift over here. Uh, optionally, I can also mark late entry or early exit for them. So once I do that, you can see my marked attendance table uh, gets filled up with uh, the employees that have been already marked with the status. Um, I can go on and mark attendance for other employees as well. So um, with this data table, it's easier to uh, filter out employees based on status or name, uh, unlike the previous view, where uh, while working with this tool with thousands of employees, it was difficult to keep, keep a track of the marked attendance. So you can uh, use this tool um, to your benefit to quickly mark attendance for thousands of employees. Under recruitment, uh, we have added a new feature called as job requisition. So job requisition is basically an internal request you put in uh, to request a new hire. So you can see that uh, this is the job requisition list with all the designations that I have requests for with the status uh, on hold, pending, open and approved, filled requisitions, the number of positions, uh, expected compensation for each, uh, who requested it, and what is the expected turnaround time for that particular requisition. So let me just go ahead and quickly create a new job requisition uh, for the designation engineering lead um, under the R&D department. Let's say I want to hire one um, engineering lead with some expected compensation. And uh, I want it by 30th April. Okay, so when I put in the job requisition, if your uh, designation already has JD linked to it, it will be auto-fetched. Uh, here I can add my uh, job description for the requisition I'm putting in. So uh, once I save this, I can see that there is already an existing employee referral available for this requisition. Uh, when I click on it, it takes me to the referral uh, list view. So I can go ahead and create a job opening against the referral, or I can choose to create a job opening explicitly for this requisition. Once I click on create job opening, my JD, uh, the salary and the references for the requisition are pulled in. 
so i can publish the opening on my website from the requisition um so i can see my opening has been published uh people can come over here and apply for the opening so let me just put in a record to show you the complete cycle so once i have done this i can see that an applicant got created against my opening now i can continue the entire uh, recruitment process by creating multiple rounds of interviews and finally sending out job offers uh, so once i do that i can mark this applicant as accepted and since my opening has now been fulfilled um uh, if i go back to my requisition it's marked as filled so and a metric is also calculated over here which is time to fill which is the time taken to fill the open positions in this case it was one day pretty quick i don't think uh, hiring happens this fast um so this a uh, job requisition uh, metric is also visible on your recruitment dashboard you can see the average time to fill uh, that is taken within the system uh, so requisition is not just uh, limited to uh, asking for a new hire but it can also help you in planning for the year with staffing plan so let's say i create a new staffing plan for the next year um the 1st of april to 31st of uh next financial year and i can create a staffing plan for a particular department i can click on get job opening so when i'm planning my budget for recruitment for the year i also need to know what are the requests that are already present in the system so this is a multi select dialog you can apply different filters over here to fetch your job requisitions and uh, click on get items so when i save this from my requisition the vacancy estimated cost and the total cost everything is pulled in and i get a total estimated budget so you can also simplify your planning with uh, the requisition feature so performance management uh, this is a brand new performance management module uh, within frappe hr and it's going to be released in this month's uh, month end release uh, so it has all the things like uh, your kras feedback criteria creating cycles appraisals goals uh, so you have a kra master wherein you can create all the key result areas for the organization and employee feedback criteria what you want to give feedback against so these masters are used in templates so basically you can create a template with the kras uh, kras can be different for different designations like for engineering it could be development quality documentation with some weighted against each one of them for evaluation purposes and then there is feedback rating so you don't always necessarily rate people against their goals but it can also be some qualitative uh criteria like accountability excellence or problem solving uh, ability um so you can add your criteria over here with the weighted once you create your appraisal templates for all the designations you can go ahead and link those with uh, different designations uh, so you have a default appraisal template field over there so this was about the masters now my templates are ready so i can go ahead and create a new cycle um so let's say i create a new cycle for the next year and i can optionally add a description for this so now i want to uh, assign or include employees in this particular cycle 
so you have an option to create multiple cycles for different uh, department designation or branches uh, you can use the filters over here to get the employees in bulk um, for example maybe engineering might have an yearly appraisal cycle but sales might have a more frequent uh, appraisal cycle let's say quarterly or half yearly so in that case you can create two different cycles for these designations so let's say i go ahead and create one for uh, the designation engineer so all my uh, employees with the engineering designations are pulled in and their appraisal template set against the designation is um, added over here so now i have my employees i can go ahead and um, create appraisals so this will create appraisal documents for all my employees um for that cycle so if i go to a particular document you can see the kras are automatically uh, pulled in from your template with the weightage and the feedback criteria you had set is also pulled in over here so in this way um, you can create multiple appraisal documents for all your employees uh, using the appraisal cycle uh this was about a new appraisal cycle creation uh let me go to a cycle which i've already created to show you how it uh how the journey looks like so um so for example this is an appraisal older appraisal document uh, wherein i have an overview of the employee the cycle department designation i have the kra tag wherein uh, my goal completion score is automatically calculated against my kra um so i can go and view goals so goal is a separate master um uh, wherein you can create nested goals uh, for all the employees and you can see the kra tag to a particular goal the status of the goal and a summary status for a group goal uh so you can visualize your goals and dependencies with ease um, add new goals right from here or even update progress for a particular goal this is what the list view of goal looks like you see the progress against all your goals and uh, the due date for your goals over here so basically you have an option to tag your goal to a particular kra let's say uh, my kras are development um uh, automation testing so i can create goals in these areas let's say to improve quality i set up certain goals um for example uh bringing down github issues by 20% or qa testing so on and so forth so as and when i complete my goals or uh, update progress in my goals the goal completion here gets updated and then i get a weighted score uh based on the weighted set over here so my overall goal score percentage currently is 55% of the goals have been completed and total goal score 5 based on the weightages so um this will help you automatically track how the employees are performing with their goals against their kra uh then there is a feedback tab wherein you see a timeline of all the feedback uh that the particular employee has gotten over a period of time uh so you see the who gave the feedback the designation uh what was the feedback when was it given and a link to go to an individual feedback you see a summary over here of the average rating that the employee has gotten and a percentage distribution of stars so uh, this employee has mostly gotten 3 stars in throughout their feedback um so this is what a feedback document looks like it's a separate doc type but for uh, ease of assessing the employee uh, this feedback view is available over here so now i have logged in from a different employees uh, account like uh, i want to give feedback to this employee so i can uh, this is all permission sensitive so now i can see a new feedback button over here so i can give feedback to this employee or uh, right from this view and rate the criteria which was set in the template so once i do that my feedback gets submitted and i can see the document that i just created and 
the appraisal average score also gets uh, auto calculated uh, post that we also have self appraisal wherein employees rate themselves so you get a self score out of this a uh, goal score and a feedback score based on all these three you get a average final score uh, which is an average of all three scores so that you get some end result of your entire uh, appraisal document um so if you want to uh, in your goals if you decide that a particular goal shouldn't uh, contribute to your um, kras progress let's say you change your mind and you don't want to work on this anymore you can archive the goal so this uh, won't uh, this goal's progress won't be accounted in your kra computation so um once you have done all this there is a report called appraisal overview wherein you get the entire summary of your appraisal cycle you can filter it based on cycle or the number of feedback average feedback score uh, goal score self score etc um now earlier the appraisal process was a bit different so in the older versions uh, there was a separate kra method currently it's automated based on goal progress and whenever you create new cycles this is the default option but in case you want to stick to the old method you can set this as manual rating wherein uh, until version 13 uh, this is how your appraisals with manual rating used to look like wherein uh to directly get your kras over here you don't create goals and you rate your kras directly and get some score so that whole automation piece uh, if you don't want it you can just this, uh select the option over here or change it um so yeah so this is what the entire uh, performance process looks like so what's next uh you can track our github to know what we are building and we are also pushing monthly update blogs uh, on the frappehr.com website so you can keep a track over there to understand what are the new enhancements uh, that are being added uh, so we plan to work on payroll compliance uh, mostly for india and some other things maybe a separate app for uh, localization uh, a recruitment module revamp uh, for uh, for the entire cycle right from applic applicant tracking to offers uh, over time geo attendance that is geo tagging in attendance mobile app uh, this has been on hold uh, but we have started working on it um, and we plan to launch it in the next few months and more so you can track github's progress to see Uh, where all of this is going um so if you have liked what we have built so far you can go and sign up on frappehr.com today uh and try out uh, the system and uh if you wish to give us uh, to acknowledge the development and track progress you can star us on github um, on the repository that it yeah rucha there's some questions in the question and answer section i could see that 27 are open you could take them up uh if an additional salary that was set up to run for 4 months is disabled after the first month what happens if the additional salary is enabled later in the future will the date auto adjust or the user must manually take the date adjustment no it won't auto adjust in this case how would hr handle internal meeting scheduling outcomes so we have a calendar integration wherein you can uh add meetings but currently there is no explicit uh, one on one scheduling within the system 
वी आर यूजिंग जेड के टेक फॉर डिवाइस फॉर ट्रैकिंग अटेंडेंस कैन वी लिंक दिस डिवाइस टू फ्रैपे एच आर येस सो वी हैव अ बायोमेट्रिक अटेंडेंसिंग टूल विच इज कंपेटेबल विथ जेड के टेक फॉर डिवाइसेस सो यू कैन यूज दैट टू सेटअप एन इंटीग्रेशन एंड पुश चेक इन टू फ्रैपे एच आर इट्स बींग यूज बाय अ लॉट ऑफ कस्टमर्स can we have in built taxation details such as tax labs deduction category tax declaration for the country which is selected while setting up the er so this uh, like automatically having the tax labs in the system when the account is created will require localization country wise localization uh, which should ideally be tackled by a separate app so you can go ahead and create a custom app to have localizations or if you wish to contribute to uh is it possible to share the road map so we have an open project um uh so this is the open project that we have we keep adding tasks over here so if you want to go and track it you can check this view or check github for existing pull requests so someone has uh, written i'm coming from sap and salesforce background since past few days i'm exploring the capability of frappe erp next i found out only few things about custom development which is not enough for a company to quickly start with is there a place where someone can learn more about the development portion apart from few videos on frappe school so there is a comprehensive documentation on the framework uh, you can go to frappeframework.com um uh, and even customizing erp next i'll add the links to that is it possible to apply for two types of leaves in a single leave application no i don't think that no that's not possible because the ledger and maintaining balance and all has to be with separate leaf applications i have integrated with biometric tool where attendance is automatically marked auto attendance settings for shift types include options for marking half day uh attendance calculating working hours and registering check ins and check outs is there an option for setting late entry time and early exit so uh, in shift type there are uh, fields to allow check in uh, up to some minutes and check out uh, if that is not like if the employee is exceeding that time it's automatically marked as late entry early exit um how to manage full and final settlement uh you can check out the documentation for the same Rucha, would you uh, like to talk about the uh, mobile app that you guys, the team is planning to push out for Frappe HR briefly? Yeah, so the mobile app uh, will have uh, basic day-to-day -day functionalities that you need, uh, like attendance, leaves, uh, tracking balances, and later on geo tagging and all such features. Uh, 
so the it will be a progressive web, web app and we have started working on it so we are planning to uh, approximately uh, launch it in the next 3 to 4 months you can track the development on github uh, as well great uh, so yeah uh, after the app would be launched we would also be launching that app on product hunt and we would need people support to become the product of the month or the day or something uh, so you guys could go on product hunt and explore uh, the platform for yourself right now you'd find similar more apps over there uh, that could help you in the other functionalities that you'd be looking for so just check it out i'm just putting the link over here uh, so regarding on leaves there is some question about 1.5 leaves per month so you have an option to round the leaves or uh, with different options like 0 0.25, 0 0.5 and 1 or not set up rounding at all. So that will just uh, divide your leaves by 12 and allocate them directly. So you can check out the options in the earn leaf section for leaf type uh, with leaf policy assignment. Uh, I have shared one old article on regarding making check-in and check-out easier the mobile app aims to do that wherein it's very easy for you to like swipe or click a button to check in or check out and that will create a check-in log in your system but if you have um, integrated biometric then these logs will be auto populated uh, so as Nabeen and Saurabh have mentioned if you have uh, relevant feature requests which are generic enough you can open github issues for the same or whatever issues you are facing you can reach out to people on the discuss forum I'll just share the link Okay, looks like uh, Rucha have tried to answer most of the questions. Uh, those were there and uh, answer the most relevant ones, which would make sense the most. And uh, yeah, thanks for um, uh, taking up the questions on polls as well. The audience, uh, we definitely use those insights uh, to improve the product and see what could be done in future in the modules. And thank you, Rucha. Um, Saurabh and Nabeeb for taking up the questions and answering them and Rucha to you for presenting the entire module here and talking about the new advancement that happened. So it was a good session. People must have gotten good insights into the new things that has been developed and also got a walkthrough of the things that those were already there. So yeah, thank you for that. And I feel it was a good uh, presentation and uh, uh, for the audience, uh, stay tuned uh, and keep a close eye on our social media for the next webinar uh, that we'd be getting, which would be around one of the products from Crappiverse. So yeah, uh, the link would be out soon for registration. Stay ahead over there. Yeah, thank you guys. Uh, so we would uh, conclude the webinar right now. Um, thank you. Thanks for joining. Thank you, Rucha, again. Thanks a lot, Anupam. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.